Through your word in the name of Jesus. Let the anointing flow all over from every channel to world to love from right to left, from left to right in the name of Jesus. Let there be a flow, let there be a flow, let there be partition this morning. Let there be revelation through your word this morning. Let there be partition, let there be anointing this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, talk to the Lord, talk to the Lord, Father, bless my soul, bless me, bless me, bless me this morning as I listen to your Sabbath. God bless me, bless me, bless me from the throne of grace. Let there be a blessing unto to everyone listening to us. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, turn the tongue, turn the mouth, turn the, turn the voice of your servant this morning to be, oh Lord, a blessing to us. In the name of Jesus. Lift up a voice and bless the Lord. 
worship him, worship him, worship him. Exalt him for who he is. Bless the Lord. Give him praise for another new month. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We adore you. In Jesus' awesome name, we have worship. This song just popped up in my heart as I was coming up with the podium. And I want us to sing it. And after singing, we will use it to prophesy to the four corners of the land and to the four corners of the world. I am the Lord, I led I am the Lord, your healer. You send your word and you heal my disease. of days I am that I am we honor you for who you are we appreciate you for none is like unto thee well thank you once again for the gift of life we thank you once again for the privilege to see another new month thank you for the fourth month in the year 2020 thank you for strength on our side thank you for your grace and your mercy that have kept us thank you because there was no cause for alarm for running at us thank you for keeping us perfect under your under your mighty hand thank you for your grace and your mercy thank you for your love and your care thank you for your protection because you are our shield and our buckler thank you lord once again for the miracle of sleeping and waking thank you for every part of our bodies functioning perfectly so we can come lord god almighty to worship in your presence this morning Thank you for everyone, Lord God Almighty, listening to us via our platform on the social media. We thank you because you know your word is life, your word is power. That the power in your word through the presence of the Holy Ghost will reach out unto every soul under the sound of our voice in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you because you know your power through your word, the power through your word will bless us, will heal us, will save us. We deliver us, we lift us up on our side in the name of Jesus. We thank you because you are the Lord, our healer. As I sang that song earlier, you send your word and you heal us of all our diseases. So, Lord God Almighty, send your word at a moment like this. 
send your word through the land and bread of Guyana for healing in the name of Jesus. Send your word through the land and bread of all the nations of the earth. Bring healing in the name of Jesus. Let your message speak, oh God. Let your healing power move through the land. Bring an end to this pandemic, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Preserve your people, oh God. Say, call the glory, Father. Blessed be your holy name, Jehovah Lord. In Jesus' awesome name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah to the King of glory. I want to thank God once again for the privilege to reach out to you via this platform today. I want to say he alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. So I want to thank God for the month of April. Hallelujah. This is the fourth month. I want to thank God for how he, he has kept you and I. Hallelujah. And today is the fourth Sunday of the month, as usual. It's our Thanksgiving Sunday. So we'll be giving thanks to God for how good he has been to us. He saw us through the month of January. He kept us through the month of February. And even in the month of March, he saw us through the, to the end of the month of March. And he also gave us the privilege to see the month of April that we are in. Today is the fifth day. And today is the fourth Sunday in the month. So we'll be giving thanks to God for how good he has been to us. I think it's Don, one of Don Mel's songs says, God is good all the time. Put a song of praise in his heart of mine. God is good all the time. Through the darkest night, his light will shine. God is good, oh yes. God is good all the time. God is good all the time. So it doesn't matter whether things have not fallen in places as you thought it should be. It doesn't matter what is going on all over the nations of the earth today. God is still God. Hallelujah. And so we want to quickly look through uh, a topic that says songs of praise. Song of praise. I'll be taking our reading from Second Samuel chapter 22. It's a story of King David. Hallelujah. How, how he went through stages in life and how God helped him through. And he began to say things about this God. And now I'm trusting God once again that this, your song will be songs of praise. At the end of it all, you will be standing and I will be standing in the name of Jesus. The situation presently is just like a battle that the world is facing. Amen. But in the midst of the battles of life, we are assured of God's own presence. The Bible said, our God is a present help in the time of need. Hallelujah. So we are trusting him that at a time like this, he will show up for us all in the name of Jesus. So I'm reading 2 Samuel chapter 22. I'll take from verse 1 down to 7. And when we are concluding, I will read towards verse 47. Verse 1 to 7, I read 2 Samuel chapter 22. And David spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies, and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, The Lord is my rock and my fortress. And my deliverer. The God of my rock. In him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation. My high tower and my refuge. My Savior, thou savest me from violence. Verse 4. 
I will call on the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. When the waves of death compass me, the flaws of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compass me about, the snares of death prevented me. Verse 7, where I'm stopping now, says, in my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried to my God, and he did hear my voice out of his temple, and my cry did enter his ears. As you call upon the Lord in times like this that we are in, May your voice be heard from heaven. May answers come to every word of your prayers. In the know how the enemy can get you to you. I'm praying the Lord to be your fortress from today if he has not been before today in the name of Jesus. He went for that to say the Lord is my deliverer. What does that mean? It means the one that delivers me. A deliverer is the one that delivers someone from a situation. In a situation that you cannot help yourself, there is someone that is called the help of the helpless. There is someone that is called the deliverer, the mighty deliverer. And I'm praying for you in the name that is above every other name. The helper of the helpless will show up for you in this season. The mighty deliverer will show up for you this season. In the name of Jesus Christ. He went for that to say, he said, the God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield. A shield is also like a defense. He is my shield. And the horn of what? My salvation. Say, my high tower. My high tower. Not just another tower, but the one, the one, the one that is high. That's why the Bible calls him the one who is higher than the highest. If he's your high tower, he keeps you in his tower, nothing can reach out to you wherever he places you. Hallelujah. He says, my what? He is my high tower. He is my refuge. Hallelujah. He is my refuge. What is a refuge? A refuge is a condition of being safe or sheltered from danger, from trouble, from pursuit. So God is going to shield you from every danger, it's going to shield you from every trouble. <laughs> it's going to shield you from every pursuit in the name of Jesus. He is my refuge. He is my savior. He went for that also. So he is my savior. Hallelujah. Who is a savior? A savior is someone who saves someone or something. Somebody who is like a deliverer, who, who saves, who delivers. In the days of Gideon, God used.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So David recalls the enemies that he faced. He look at them in verse 5 and 6. Say, when the waves of death compassed him. So the waves of death compassed him. But God delivered him. He, only, he went for us. He said, the flood of ungodly men made me afraid. The flood of ungodly men made me afraid. That is to say, ungodly men gathered and they were coming like what? Like flood. Amen. But the, the Lord did what? He said, the Lord saved me. The Lord saved me. He said, they came, even though I was afraid, but my trust was in God. Verse he said, the sorrows of hell compassed me about. He said, the snares of death prevented me. Look at what is going on around today. The snares of death. All over. But what happened? Say the Lord preserved. I, I've heard people talk so much during this vir- coronavirus situation that's, that's going on all over the world. Some people have been saying, oh, if God is God, it's a, it's a loving God, why did they allow this to happen? And, and on and on and on and on. So many things. Amen. But in the midst of that, I've come also to see Videos and photos of men crying and returning back to God. Crying for mercy. Crying for what? Mercy. Repenting from the evil. The evil that is going on in the world is so much. So much. And so when troubles like this come, there's a time for men to drop back to God. And I'm saying... For you and all yours, as you hold on to God, the Lord will preserve you. So what am I saying? Everyone who is on the Lord's side definitely will be preserved. It doesn't matter how hard the enemy hits. David told us here how God had shielded over him. How God had preserved him. How God had saved him. How God had delivered him. And so if that God Delivered him then. And he's still alive. He's the same God on the throne. Why won't he deliver you? Our confidence is in him. And we are sure. That indeed he that never fails. He will surely stand to the end. Because he's the God that lives forever. The Bible says he's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. So if you had done it before. He can do it again. And again. And again. And even after this situation that is around now, like I told us, was it on Thursday, I was saying, or oh, last week, Sunday, I said, there is no situation that come to stay. And that's why you look at the word of God, the Bible will say, and it came to pass. So this situation has come, it will pass. Definitely it's going to pass. So as the psalmist was preserved from all the troubles, and he was able to stand at this moment, he was writing this psalm to give thanks to God for God that delivered him, this situation also will pass. And after it has passed, you and I will stand like David stood to sing songs of praise, to so give thanks to him for his deliverance, for his safety, for his guardian, for his shield and protection. In the name of Jesus. I told us earlier in verse 7, say, in my distress, I called upon the Lord. So this time, what men need to do is to call upon the Lord. Hallelujah. So David was a man who knew God and who had profound confidence in both God's compassion and power to change things. David made us understand that God acts on behalf of all who call on him. That's why verse 7 says, In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried to my God and he did hear my voice out of his temple and my cry did enter his ears. So when you call upon him, definitely, he will hear you. And I pray that he will hear you today in the name of Jesus. So when you look back over the experience of your lives, we have to thank God for his goodness for all that he has done for us. Hallelujah. How many of us are ready to give thanks? Has the Lord really done anything for you? I think a song says, come and see what the Lord has done for me. He has what? He has taken away my sorrows and I am free. Hallelujah. Another song says, what the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. 
What the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. He saved me and washed me in his blood. I think in that verse 4 of that same second summary of the 22. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. That's the song. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be saved. Praise. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord in blessed be the Lord. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. The Lord in Salvation be as all. That's where the song is taken from. The Lord reign it. So we call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So how many of us are ready to give praise to him? Let me conclude by going down to verse 47 of the same second Psalm chapter 22 from verse 47 to 51. I read. Verse 7 to 51. Say the Lord live it and blessed be my rock. And exalted be the God of the rock of my salvation. It is God that avenged me and that bringeth down the people under me. And that bringeth me forth from my enemies. Thou also hast lifted me up on high above them that rose up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent men. Therefore, I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the hidden. And I will sing praises unto thy name. Verse 51. He is a tower of salvation for his kings. And showed mercy to his anointed. Now, he said, in the, in the, in the book there, he said, unto David. Now, you put your name there. Unto Bolaji Toashi. And to my seed forevermore. That's the word of the Lord for you today. Sing praises unto him. He is your tower, he's your salvation, he's your shield, he's your buckler. So as we walk through the rest of this month, as we walk through the rest of this year, as we walk through the season when there's a lockdown almost all in all nations of the earth, what should you do? Who do you, should you rest on? Jesus, the rock. The songwriter says, the rock that never fails. Let me hide in you. Let me hide in you. In you there is power. One more time. The rock that never fails. Let me hide in you. Let me hide in you. Because in you there is power. Let's bow our head as we call upon the Lord once again at this moment. He is the Lord, our rock. He is the Lord, our shield. He is the Lord, our deliverer. He is the Lord, our protector. Is the Lord our salvation? Is the Lord our strength? Is the Lord our fortress? Is the Lord our stronghold, our high tower? Is the Lord our refuge? Lift up your voice once again and bless the Lord. Thank Him for being your rock, being your shield. Thank Him for being your high tower. Thank Him for taking care of you. Bless the Lord. And for adventure, you are there under the sound of my voice. And you, you know deep inside of you, you have not yet made Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. I want to use this opportunity to call upon you to turn to him. Ah, he said, no one that comes unto me that will likewise cast away. At, in moments like this, at times like this, there is no other place to run to but to run to.
Father, continue to keep us. Continue to save us. Continue to deliver us. Continue to guide us. In the name of Jesus. Preserve us. Give us the opportunity to give praise and thanks and testimonies to you. After this, all is gone. And we are still standing because we stand in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fill our mouth with songs of praise. Fill our mouth with songs of praise. Fill our mouth with songs of praise and thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. We give you glory and adoration. In Jesus' awesome name we have prayed. In Jesus' awesome name we have prayed. Hallelujah. We want to bless God once again for everything. We want to uh, go ahead now and take our offering. It's a Thanksgiving Sunday. So we're having our love offering. And our Thanksgiving offering at the same time. I will be singing. Is uh, is praise. Put the offering together. Yes, if you have your tie there, you can put it. Uh, when you stand to pray, you lift it also. You pray on it. Those of us watching online who are members of RCC in Guyana, we will, our pastors in the uh, parishes, in the state parishes, will be reaching out to us on the medium, the medium to give our offering. I will pray. Father, we thank you once again for the privilege to offer unto you. Thank you because you provided for us. So, Lord God Almighty, we lift up the offerings unto you. Going to Lord, accept it and use it for your glory in the name of Jesus. Everyone of our brethren over there, wherever they are, and those everyone who are on ground online with, the, with their tithes, with their offering, we bless it. And we we'll say, Lord, let it be accepted of you. Let it be received from you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In returns, everlasting Father, bless every soul that are given unto you in Jesus' name. Let lack never be our portion in the name of Jesus. Sustain us. Keep us as our source through this period and forever till we see in glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Let our finances not run dry in Jesus' name. You are our source. You flow forever. Lord God Almighty, so shall it be upon our finances. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bless the offering once again, O oh Lord. Thank you for everyone that I've given. Blessed be your holy name, O oh Lord. For those who are also paying their tithe, we we'll sanctify the tithes. And we'll release your blessings, O oh Lord, upon everyone who are faithful according to your word. Rebuke the virus, O oh Lord God Almighty. Upon the window of heaven, pour the blessing. So much so that you said there will not be enough room. Let all your words be released upon your children. This moment in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father in heaven. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord. In Jesus' awesome name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. God bless you. We invite our sister.
God bless you. In Jesus' name. Shall we take our Bible uh, anchor for the year? Psalm 144. I'll read from verse 1, from verse 9 to 15. Psalm 144, from verse 1. Psalm 144 from verse 9. I will sing a new song unto thee, O God. Upon a sword tree and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praise unto thee. It is he that giveth salvation unto kings who delivereth David the servant from the handful sword. Read me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouth speaketh vanity. And the right hand is the right hand of falsehood. That my sons may be as plants grown up in their youth. That my daughters may be as cornerstones, polished after the similitude of a palace. That my garners may be full, affording all manner of stone. That my sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in my strength. That my oxen may be strong to labor. That there be no breaking in, nor going out. That there be no complaining in my street. Happy is a people that is in such a case. Yea, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we take the grace together in fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now. Forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. God bless you. Thank you once again for joining us.